The Discovery Challenge Academy is a quasi-military credit recovery residential opportunity for students who are falling behind in their credits, who will not graduate on time. It is for students who want leadership opportunities, want to learn how to be leaders. For students who want more out of life, or want to change their life, want to get out of a negative environment, or for students who the typical high school experience is not for them. We strive for engagement. A big part is how do we engage the disengaged? Um, how do we build relationships? How do we help students not only academically, but to look ahead uh, at different vocational, different options outside of their high school? Well, before, as a student, I would like slack off or procrastinate in a lot of my assignments. So I would just like wait them off till the last minute and do them the night before, staying up really late. I used to talk back to my parents a lot. I would cuss at my sisters. I would just not, I was not a good daughter or I wasn't a good sister. I wasn't fully where I wanted to be. I even thought I was able to do better, but I didn't really push myself to the limit. I never like even thought about my future because of the bad decisions I made. But being here made me realize a lot of stuff. Like I appreciate my parents now. I have a 3.5 GPA, I have A's and B's. I'm starting to pay more attention in class. I'm starting to get more uh, intrigued with the assignments. So just seeing that transformation is truly remarkable to me. And now that they're able to have the structure and the mentor that they have in the program, uh, they're able to kind of see farther in life. They have to want to be here. They have to want to make that change. So that's the first push. Um, and then also they have to be open to to discipline. They have to be open to doing things that they don't want to do at times, but knowing that in the long run that it's going to benefit them. It was kind of hard. I had, I had my mom and my aunt and my girlfriend bring me, and then towards the end it was kind of hard leaving my girlfriend for five months and then uh, leaving my mom as well. I remember the first day. It was hard. We got woken up around five. I had to do push-ups, sit-ups. Up-downs butterfly kicks and then getting people to correct us, they just started correcting us off the, off the bat. The days are regimented and it's really designed to um, kind of break old habits of sleeping in until 9, 10, 11 or, or later, uh, to break the habits of not doing their homework or not showing up to class on time and so forth. So we really, we create the program to be so structured to prepare them to be productive citizens after they leave. I mean, it's a mix of relationships and nurturing, coupled with discipline, academic skills, and broadening their experiences as far as taking them on field trips, enriching what you're doing in the classroom. I do see changes in myself. I don't procrastinate as much. Um, I've gotten in control of my anger issues. I never used to tell the truth, but here, one thing is to always be honest. I stay on my schoolwork now, and I'm way more focused on my future. We always try to, to allow the students to see their success, and it's, it's theirs. Uh, nobody's giving them the good GPA. Nobody's giving them that, that better mile time or anything like that. They've, they've truly earned it. This morning, I asked them, hey, raise your hand if, you've, if these are the best grades you've ever had. And the majority of the academy raised their hands, and we made, we made sure that they, to let them know, hey, you should be proud of yourselves. It's tough to be away from home. It's tough to be, um, you know, a hundred or more than a hundred other peers and, um, and to be successful.